It's really helping my line doesn't snap. There's a knife. Dude, this, this goose might square up. That's a decent fish. Oh my gosh. What is up everybody? Welcome back to KVW Outdoors. Today, we're at a pond that I've fished a lot in a lot of the past videos that I've made across my channel. If you guys are not new to the channel, you guys are subscribed, you've been watching a lot of my videos, you guys recognize this pond quite a bit. But for you guys that are new, this is a pond close by my house that I fish all the time. And it's actually one of the first times I've been able to make it out here this year. I've been trying to hit up a lot of new ponds and public ponds this year. So this is one of the first times I'm actually hitting up this pond. But we're gonna try to catch some bass hopefully find out what they're hitting on and just see if we can't catch some giants here. We got Zach with us today and he's gonna be fishing alongside us. And hopefully, hopefully we can catch some bass. If not, that's a real shame. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. So we'll talk to you guys in a little bit and hopefully we can catch some bass. All right, y'all, so I'm starting off with the Guggen Squad Banger. This is in the bluegill color. Man, I'm just smacking bottom. What have you been thinking of the past, I think, two videos? I the other one. I yeah. Which, what other one? The leisure one. Oh, that one, yeah. That one I just didn't set up very well. I was just kind of fishing. Like I said, I need to start focusing on, like, titles of videos and not... I can't just do flare style stuff where I just pull up randomly film and that's not what's gonna get views. I gotta start doing more B-roll, which is like those clips that don't really have any action in them. They're just random clips. Like, you know, the clips of like people backing their trailers in and that that's B-roll. Just clips that don't have any function towards the video. And I need to film more of that, more. Like yep. Yes, John B. They I've I've watched so many podcasts and crap. So like, they like they would call him John B. Roll because he was just so good at it. Like that was his thing, and that's how he really got. He was like one of the first people to really start doing that a whole lot. So like, I I can't remember where I heard that from, but I did hear that. And then like, there's a new YouTuber that I've found that I've really freaking liked, and I think he's gonna be a big big youtuber someday is logan anderson fishing i've posted him on my instagram a few times because he's freaking insane the vi video quality and just en like it's entertaining all right switching it up got a little z-man chatterbait on with a bandito bug on the back in the natural color try this I think that crankbait was just diving too deep. So I ordered, I ordered like a bunch of like mini bangers. So they're smaller than that size and they go a little bit shallower. But I bought four in different colors and they're freaking sick. Except I, I really want to keep the location. What the frick? There's a knife. Bunch of scales on it. Somebody caught some fish and sick bro i'm taking that so taking that i just found a freaking knife I'm just sitting here i'm taking that home awesome where are you giant bass I have a tree. What? I have a tree. Uh, there are a lot of them out here? No. I'm pulling it. Just really hoping my line doesn't snap. Oh, came out, so that's good. I busted any fish out of there that was sitting in that tree though. So, it's like I'm gonna have to move. At least I know it's there. Yeah, 
The problem is, I don't know how shallow it is over there. Like, it's shallow over here. So I'm wondering maybe if we can't find their beds over here. Like, look at that. You see that? That's either like bluegill. And it could possibly be bass too. I just, like, I don't know. And that's the hard part. I know, but we only have a half hour left of daylight. It's eight. What? It's eight. You want me to ask Boston? I would, but I just don't think we got the time. Dude, something smells like, yeah, like dead. Yeah, so there's gotta be a dead fish somewhere. Dead snapper, dead fish. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, man. Dude, this, this goose might square up, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. It's getting, like, the further you go this way, the worse it gets. Like, I don't see anything. Man, something is, like, dead, dead. That is rank. Oh, dang it. I was really hoping these guys would want to square up or something. But now they're, like, swimming across the pond, spooking all my freaking fish out. Square up, buddy. I'll take you. This is insane, the water levels. Oh, that was a fish. That's a decent fish. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. It might be. It's a nope, it's a bass. Oh, go get, we gotta go get the scale. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Zach is like sprinting around the pond right now. He hammered that. Dude, I cannot get that hook. That was a solid hook set. It's not coming out. Come on, pop off. Hey, grab a pair of pliers. That is, she is fat, full of eggs. Like, I hate to have her out of the water this long, but this is what happens when you don't grab your stuff to bring. Oh, I got it. Holy smokes. That, gosh, she wants out of here. That is a toad. Look at that belly there. She is full of eggs. Absolute tank of a fish. I got the, I got the fish off, but holy smokes. That is a toad. That, what, what's your guess? What's your guess? I'm feeling four. I'm, I'm feeling four ten. Four ten. All right, boys. Got a stomach. I'm thinking four ten. All right, zeroed out. Ain't no way. No way, that's not right. There's no way that's a two pound fish. That's not right. That is not right at all. Two pounder, there's no way. It's not right. What the crap? There's no way. That is not a two pound fish. It's changed from 2.25 to 2.75. I know, something's up with it. That's a big bass. That's a big fish, but 
Of course, the scale's not working. I want to hurry up and get it back in the water. Zero out. There we go. Oh, wow. 3.96. I was way off. Absolute freaking tank release of the girl. Push her out there. My foot is soaked. Oh, go, go. It's so muddy back here. Come on. Oh, there she goes. Come on. Get out there. Dude, it's so muddy. My feet. All right. Like yeah, it's so muddy back here. It's so shallow. There we go. Head back out, girl. Sick. These are my work shoes. <laughs> it looks like I'm not wearing these tomorrow. There was no way that fish is too No, that I knew that scale was wrong. I don't even care that my feet are soaking wet. That was awesome. Now I'm just like, screw it. That, that had to have been on a bed. Like her stomach was full of eggs. Oh man. It smells, like it smells terrible over here. I did, I thought she was bigger than four. Cause my three, except I gotta figure out my scale cause it's in point, whatever. Yeah. Like I want it in ounces. I don't want it in point, whatever. I told you we shouldn't have left. Told you. I'm like, we haven't even fished the back stretch yet. Get to the back stretch and nail a freaking four pounder. Almost four pounder. I honestly thought it was gonna be bigger. Like, just holding it compared to that three pounder I caught, it just felt a lot bigger. But I guess there's, I mean, looking at its size now, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, maybe it wasn't that big. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to wear a different pair of shoes tomorrow because these are all muddy. Cause that, I couldn't, like, she wasn't moving and it was scaring the crap out of me. I was like, oh no, no way she's dead. She's, she's not dead, she's not dead, she's alive. She just couldn't get out of the mud. And honestly, it was hard for me to get out of the freaking mud. That was, the chatterbait was just, just killed it. Not, not, not literally. It, it's, it's still alive. It got out of there eventually. Just need, it just needed some help. That is my PB of the year so far. I love this feel, you know, just of soaked feet as you're walking. Hey, it was totally worth it. I'm willing to soak my feet to catch fish like that all the time. I am surprised I was a four pounder. I misjudged it by a lot. Okay, well, I knew it was gonna be a four pounder. I just didn't, I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. Who knows, the scale could be off. The scale was completely off. At the start, I don't know uh, what was up with that. That was just weird. Like it was reading two, 275. yeah, 275, which is not that big of a fish. I mean, the one I caught at leisure was bigger than that. Again, guys, I'm fishing that Z-Man chatterbait in kind of the green pumpkin color. I don't really, can't, can't remember what they called it. But then we've got a Guggen Baits Bandito Bug in the natural color on the back of there. Don't mind how it's rigged right now. It's kind of kind of torn a little bit but it's on there you guys watching at home like i know four pounder i mean that's a decent fish but it's not like an absolute monster that's where you're wrong like here in nebraska a four pounder is practically a six to you guys and an eight pounder is more like a 10 pounder for you guys like around here you just don't get fish that size so when you catch a four pounder it's like catching a six pound bass where you guys are at. And like, if you get up to eight pounds here in Nebraska, which is possible, I've heard of a few eight pounders, that's just massive. I mean, our state record is only 10 pounds somewhere in that ballpark. I was, I, I was wrong in the last video. I said it was an eight pounder. I think our smallmouth record is an eight pounder. Our largemouth record is a 10 pounder, which isn't even that big, but like you go down to Georgia where what, what's the biggest, I think Georgia has the biggest bass of like 22 pounds, three ounces or something like that. Insane. 
So, I mean, you come here, you catch a 10 pounder, that's like catching a 13 back in those in, in the south. You catch an eight, that's like catching a 10. And a four is like catching a five or a six. It's, they're just big fish. Well, everybody, we only caught one fish, but that one fish was an absolute giant. Awesome freaking fish to catch, huge fish and just absolutely awesome. Like I was not expecting to catch anything. It was just getting to the end of the night and we're just over here kind of thinking, oh, we're not gonna catch anything. Zach wanted to leave and go to another pond. And I said, nah, let's stick it out. Let's finish this. And so we did and we caught a giant bass. And I know it was all muddy and I probably didn't get the best footage of it. I wanted to try to hurry, get it back in the water. Four pounds, it was 3.96, whatever it was. Huge, huge fish. And I, I, I don't know, the scale could be wrong. It seemed bigger to me, but it was just an absolute giant of a fish. So I wanna say, if you guys are not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Notica no, no. Notifica notification bell so you guys never miss an upload and hopefully we can catch more fish like that one absolute freaking tanks so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said if you are not subscribed click subscribe turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload when we're going to catch more fish like that we got some crazy videos planned and crazy videos heading your guys as well so subscribe like comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.